Families forced out of their homes at four flood prone apartment complexes in Houston could be eligible for federal relocation assistance. About nine months ago, the General Land Office took over a program that was previously handled by the city in 2021 as part of a disaster recovery effort. Many of the displaced individuals never received the funds they were entitled to under federal law. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner is live in our newsroom with more on the ongoing efforts to reach those impacted. Rochelle, good morning. Sophia Owen, good morning. The Uniform Relocation Act, also known as URA, is a federal law that ensures financial assistance for individuals to place due to federally funded projects covering costs like moving and rent differences. Now, in this case, many residents displaced from those apartment complexes were entitled to this aid but never received it. I spoke to the General Land Office and a woman who received a check for over $17,000. This bird's eye view from Sky 2 shows the Monticello Square apartments on Clarewood Drive in the Bel Air area. The complex has been vacant since 2021. It's the same story for the Biscayne at City View Apartments on Imperial Valley Drive and Greens Point. And take a look at this map. The Apian Way Apartments on McGregory Way and the Spring Village Apartments on Chimney Rock are also empty. All four complexes were bought out by the city of Houston. Brittany Eck with the General Land Office explains the next step. They're going to tear those down and make sure that, that those are areas of green space uh, for, for flooding. Um, but those individuals that lived in these apartment complexes were owed that, that relocation assistance. Linda Mejia Zuniga lived in a one-bedroom unit at the Biscayne at City View Apartments, which was acquired by the city of Houston. After losing her job and facing delays with her file, she received a check for over $17,000. She used it as a down payment, and with help from the GLO, now she lives in a beautiful home in North Houston. I just turned 50. This is my first house. This is my dream house. So far, the GLO has helped about 200 residents with another 300 possibly eligible if they can provide the right documentation. But with 400 more residents still unaccounted for, the clock is ticking for these individuals to come forward and receive federal aid they're owed. We want them to reach out to us. We have absolutely been doing a lot of outreach. Uh, we have been working with pastors in the community. We've been working with the local school districts, uh, food banks. We have been going out into the community. There are good people out there. There are people that will help you if you do your part. Mahaya Zuniga says the process wasn't easy. She had to gather documents and submit them to the GLO several times, but she never gave up and she was able to get that money to help her get that home. Now the GLO wants to help others through the application process. So if you or someone you know lived in one of those complexes, you can find more information on our website about how you can apply and what documents you need. And at 6 a.m., you're going to hear more from Miss Linda's story. She's going to give us a tour of her brand new home. Plus, she's going to give some advice for people who might be a little unsure about the program. Back to you. All right. Thank you for sharing that, Rochelle. Appreciate it. We'll see you next hour.